this is everything you need to know about your Spike Sender 2. When it turns up in a bag from your retailer, you should have a little sticker in there and a couple of attachment cap screws. The tools that you'll need to look after your spike sender and swap them in and out are as follows. First of all, here at KK, we like to keep weight to a minimum, so you'll need a light bear. Second most important thing is a Allen key. To take it on and off, it's a 5mm Allen key. You need a 4mm Allen key for the axle. You might need a star drive to get them off other brands of stirrups. A small spanner or an adjustable spanner. And maybe some soapy water and a brush to give it a clean up every now and again. Pretty simple really. Get your bolts so they're protruding. Wake the spike sender on. Wake your spike on. Do them up with an Allen key. Pretty tight. Now every now and again, somebody gets a floppy cam. And they don't really like to talk about it. But this is an issue that needs to be addressed. There's a remedy for your floppy cam. And that is a new spring or a wash. If um, you're climbing with your spike sender in lots of grotty conditions, it quite often needs a wash. So get in some soapy water, get your scrubber in there, chuck it in the sink, put in the dishwasher, do what you need to do to free it up from all that gunk and it'll perform again. If that doesn't work, you need to replace the spring. The spring is a very cheap replacement. Um, it's very easy. You take your cam off. I'll show you how to do that in a second. The spacer comes out. The spring goes in. The spacer goes back in. And then you put your cam with the spring on it back inside the spike sender. Happy days. So to get the cam out, you need your little spanner or, your, or an adjuster and your four mil Allen key. And you just undo that axle. Okay, once that's loose enough to get off with your fingers, you pull the axle out, make sure you don't drop all the little bits. And your cam will come sliding out and you can give it a wash or replace the spring. And obviously to put it back, you do the reverse. Now when you put it back in, don't do the axle nut up super tight because it'll pinch. So wind it up till it's tight and then back it off a quarter turn. The little sheath, um, the little black sheath that restricts the locking pins movement um, after a long while will start to flog out. So they are replaceable. I'll show you how to replace it. Super simple. You pop your locking pin out with a screwdriver and then you'll see that this actually has a thread on it. You pull that out, order your new one, screw your new one back in, push your locking pin in, job done.